Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome on into North Dakota today. All right, everybody at home, get ready to explore history with the American Society for Ethnohistory and the NDSU uh, department at the iconic Fargo Theater. Brad Benton, Associate Professor of History, is joining us to share more about this big educational event and a big educational week. Good morning. Hi. This is exciting. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, all of us history buffs unite, huh? Yeah, right. Exactly. I said us, I'm not included, but <laughs> I'm hoping <laughs> to right. learn yeah. a lot this morning. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. So tell us about the symposium and what it all is. Well, so this is a, a collaboration between NDSU and uh, the American Society for Ethnohistory, which is just an academic society. Um, their annual meeting is taking place in Fargo. Yeah. Uh, next week, and we're we're hosting a public symposium on Saturday, September 21st, at the Fargo Theater. Okay, and this is a free event, right? Come one, come all. Free event, yeah. No tickets required. No registration required. Come, come one, come all. Okay, so who are we going to be hearing from at this event, and why? Yeah. So what we've done, uh, we've uh, tried to bring together um, native scholars, mm -hmm. native um, elders, tribal officials. Um, uh, native artists, uh, bring them together to have some conversations with the public about issues that we think um, people will be interested in, not just native um, communities, but the, the public, uh, the broader public might be interested in some of these things. So is it kind of a Q&A, a response, or are we mostly listening? How is it all going to work? There's going to be some of both, yeah. Okay. So there'll be some sort of uh, uh, conversations between some the panelists in the beginning, mm -hmm. um, and then some Q&A, but we have a series of four panels. Um, one of them is going to talk about uh, historic preservation. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to sp uh, hear specifically from tribal officials and the work that they're engaged in uh, to preserve Native history. Mm -hmm. uh, another panel is about uh, the way that Native history is presented to the public. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be talking with uh, some Native scholars, but also with folks at the Yemkomst, at the Historical and Cultural Society of Clay County, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and talk about how uh, Native uh, scholars were consulted uh, for an exhibit that they have up now on the history of Clay County and the way that uh, Native voices are incorporated into that exhibit. We're also going to hear from some artists uh, and uh, they're going to be talking about uh, access to natural resources, mm -hmm. specifically water. And this is going to be a conversation um, that partners with the Plains Art Museum. Uh, there's an exhibit going on at the Plains now uh, that features some Native artists, both uh, from Standing Rock and also from Mexico, actually. And then the fourth one is uh, a, uh, a discussion of language preservation. Mm. Uh, we're specifically going to talk about uh, some 100-year-old uh, Lakota language songs mm. that were recorded um, over a century ago. And uh, the the work that's being done to preserve those recordings and also to make them accessible. So you touched on some key spaces here in our region, Yom Kompst and the yeah, Great Plains. The Why Plains is this so region. important for us? Well, so I wanted to bring my academic conference to Fargo because I think Fargo is a great place and um, I think downtown Fargo is really a great um, a great space to show off, yeah. right, to, to people coming from outside. Yeah. That's pretty exciting, especially yeah. at the Fargo Theater, the iconic especially venue. Especially at the Fargo Theater, yeah. 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 And uh, the, uh, we have the theater reserved for the whole day okay. on Saturday, the, the 21st, and the, the panels will start at 8.30. There are two before lunch and two after lunch. Uh, they'll wrap up by 4.30, but you don't have to come to all of them. You can come to mm -hmm. one or two, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wandering. and again, it's free, right? And it's free. Okay, so where do we go for more information? Uh, well, if you Google NDSU and ethnohistory, that should take you to <laughs> the, the right website. Or you can just email me directly, um, bradley.benton at ndsu.edu. Okay, so you've been living here for a number of years. Yes. But where did this passion for history begin for you? Uh, it, be it began a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> so I've had a, yeah, but I have been at NDSU now for 12 years. So. Wow. Uh, this is something that I've been doing for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and I really think it's, I mean, Fargo is, uh, it's a very native city in a yeah. lot of ways, very indigenous. And uh, I think it's, it's important to sort of highlight and lift up those native perspectives um, and, uh, and, and native people and their voices. Yeah. All right. The event sounds incredible. Is there anything else you want us to know? I think that's it. <laughs> you covered it. You <laughs> checked the syllabus. You did great. <laughs> crossed everything off the syllabus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, best of luck with everything. I really appreciate it.
All right, plenty more happening right here at North Dakota today after this break, including we are checking in with our friends at Swanson Health. Stick around, everybody.